Hi, in today's video, I would like to quickly talk about my implementation of text to speech in Reaper. It's called RIA Unreal Cues because I use it mainly for stage cues like stage direction, countings. I wanted it to be a female voice. I didn't want to record it myself and I wanted it to be consistent. So that's why I came up with RIA Unreal Cues. So how does it work? We are using Kokoro TTS by Unreal Speech. You can sign up for this service and basically go to this page, sign up, uh, and you will get 250,000 characters for free. So basically what you do, you change into the developer tab and copy your API key. Then you install my RIA action and you run it. It will definitely ask you for an API key on first run. You enter it, that's it. You can now generate voiceovers. You can generate cues. I haven't tested it with longer texts because I want it to be mainly used for cues, but I'll demonstrate what it does and I'll show you how it creates media. So here's my media folder basically. It's a subfolder of the current project directory and I will now create this line uh, lead part three, two, one. And I will also say one beat and it's gonna be live. Um, when I now click generate cues, it will place it in one beat. Of course, the first might be too long. We have to cut it, but let's see. I'll click generate. And it's now sending an basically JSON string and downloading the files and placing it directly in my Reaper project. Let's uh, zoom in here. Let's see, I'll quickly close this tool. And this is what I got. Basically, it Try to place it almost at the right parts here. Um, because the first part is long, I'll place it here. And then we place it here because, yes, exactly. I didn't have my playhead at the right time. It will place it at the beginning of your playhead. So now we have this. Lead part three, two, one. As you can hear, it counted me in, gave me directions, and this is exactly what I wanted it to do. You can, of course, place multiple lines in there. You can separate it by commas and it will create new files for everyone. And as you can see, it generates them with a timestamp. So you can try to use different voices. You can try to change the speed of it. I've, uh, I've included all these options. So if you have any questions, Write me down in the comments. If you have any requests for new implementations, write me down in the comments. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about this tool. It's a great way to use text-to-speech inside of Reaper. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.